Marriage counselors have read it. What's the stupidest reason a couple has made an appointment? My anger management group facilitator told us a funny story about a couple that came in for counseling. The husband wanted to write a book. The wife said she would work and do everything around the house for a year while he worked on his book. So he quit work and wrote his book while she did everything. The book got published and was a hit. The publisher asked him to do a book signing tour. The wife was furious. She had supported him writing the book and she was done. They came to the appointment and explained the situation. The therapist asked the wife, so what would it take for you to be okay with the book tour? She said, a trip to Hawaii with my sister. The husband was like, really? Done. The appointment was over in 5 minutes. If only it was always that easy. Husband, she forgets the laundry and the washer. Wife, okay, but I'm busy. Maybe you could put the laundry in the dryer, if you see it. Husband, yeah. That's not my job. That was the least of their problems. The 1950s husband. Those are somehow abundant today. I worked with a guy in the army, he got out a year or so ago, who wanted to be the only source of income in his household. He would constantly be, and moan about how she did nothing all day, and only spends his money. But when I suggested that he tell her to get a job, I figured that would solve both issues. No, he vehemently defended his position of I'm the man. I bring in the money, so she doesn't have to work. I think I fassa palmed so hard that day I bruised my forehead. Did he say something about what he really wanted? Because wanting two opposite things is kinda impossible to fulfill. He didn't want her to sit around their one bedroom apartment all day. Didn't want her to spend any money didn't want her going out, and didn't want her working. I'm honestly not sure if he just wanted someone, so cook his food and clean up after him all the time, or what. My sister-in-law made an appointment for marriage counseling because her husband greeted their dog before her when coming home from work. I have no option. The dogs are literally at the door, ready for me to try and not trip over them. For real. I can't even greet my toddlers first, because the dogs are like nah dude we were here long before you. Get out of the way. I have to put the kids on my knees, and then pet the dogs, while they're jumping up at me. I dk why this has given me the mental image of man with toddlers as knee pads. The evolution of knee comfort. So long as you don't mind slipping on your moral compass. My specialty is children and families. But during the pandemic I was assigned whatever came in because it has been super busy. One lady called and spoke with me first about how her husband was horrible at communication and never listened to her. She asked for a couple's session. As soon as she ambushed her husband with her there is a therapist on the line that wants to speak with you her husband screamed. You called a therapist because I don't want to paint the house purple. She wanted me to convince him to paint the house purple. And like any normal human who sees colors, he refused to listen to her. Ah yes. The superpower of having eyeballs. Oh vacuous rom. Grant that woman eyes. Purple all over the shop. You'll be one sooner or later. I'm feeling very attacked right now. I was a life coach for a bit, before I realized it was more administrative work than I wanted to do. I wanted to help people, not fight in organizational political fights. During my brief time, one of my clients was really struggling with the color of dog that her husband got for her. She wanted a specific breed of dog since she was a kid and her husband did a bunch of research and got her one from a good line of the breed. But its coat was darker than the dog she imagined and she was backslash backslash really struggling with it. We had a few sessions about expectations clouding your happiness, and it turns out the dog was the most explicit example of much bigger issue she had in her life. But I had to seriously put my WTF on hold when she told me about the shade of her dog being a problem. Reading some of these makes me wonder if counseling would have saved my marriage. Then again, I think actually wanting to save your marriage is a prerequisite for marriage counseling to be successful. My counselor called me and told me that in 25 years of practice he'd never had to make this call, but that if I didn't get out of the marriage my life was in danger and that I was probably married to a sociopath. Wee. Turns out I had literally just left him. But damn was that confirmation I needed to get out. So, you know. Counseling doesn't always fix things. 
Sometimes it's just the perspective you need to see that things are broken beyond repair. My uncle and his wife. Reasoning. She lost a frying pan. I mean. I get that it's a stupid argument. But how the f do you lose a frying pan? Cupboard. Hob. Next to sink. Into sink to soak. Next to sink. Because other things need washing. Angry wife puts all the washing in the garden out of spite. Because husband never does the fine washing up. And the kitchen is a refine mess. Raccoon steals frying pan. I can totally see this sort of thing coming up between my husband and I. He refuses to learn where anything in our kitchen lives. So if he unloads the dishwasher and doesn't know where something lives instead of asking me, putting it to one side to ask later etc. He just shoves it somewhere random. I spent a month looking for my spatula once. He denied point blank that he had touched it. Eventually I found it wedged under a sugar bag in my baking cupboard. He denied he'd put it there. We are the only two people in the house and I know the spatula lives in the goddamn fucking drawer with the other utensils. The argument on its face is about a lost spatula, but the reality is a fight is about why it went missing in the first place. And the subsequent denial of involvement in said loss. Edit. Cannot believe this is the comment that blows my inbox up. Thanks to all the armchair therapists who think they've nailed my marriage down. Based on an anecdote about something mildly annoying my partner does. Bigger thanks to all the people who've clearly been or are married who get that living with another human being isn't perfect and sometimes they do one or two tiny things that irritate the s out of you and sometimes a rant feels good. Everyone concerned please rest assured I'm not trapped with an emotionally abusive husband. Just a bit of manchild whose mum should have a done a better job but who overall is a good dude. So by refusing to learn where things go he's deliberately making your life harder? That's pretty shitty. I work with a lot of kids, and I see far more stupid reasons that couples have not scheduled an appointment. Parents spill their guts while explaining what's wrong with their children. And 90% of the time it's the parents' marriage causing issues with the child slash family. This is totally not a catch-all statement, because many children have true behavioral slash emotional challenges separate from their parents' marriage. But at the same time. If you feel like your child is struggling, and you have tried everything, maybe try marriage counseling. If you have insurance, you can also call the number on the back of your insurance card and ask about mental health coverage. Find a provider in your network. You might be surprised at what is covered. If you don't have insurance and can't afford to pay out of pocket, ask the provider about pro bono services or a sliding fee scale. My mom and stepdad and I all tried to do family counseling. I was 27 at the time, and the whole session just consisted of my mom telling the therapist what a loser I was, hadn't finished college, yet but overall didn't feel like I was a loser, and didn't know she felt that way. God bless that therapist though, because he went through all the reasons why I wasn't a complete loser, had a job, no arrests, no kids, not living with parents. It really opened my eyes to how mean my mom can be, and how she just expects everyone to agree with her. Otherwise they're the stupid ones. She never went back to any more family sessions, probably because the therapist dared defy her, but me and my stepdad kept seeing the therapist separately. It honestly helped a lot. I really miss that guy. Damn. That sounds like my nephew's mother. Social workers. Doctors. And other professionals all screaming that she needed to see a psych for various issues, top IMHO being narcissism, but she had decided that she's perfect as she is, and it's all everybody else's issues and fault. She eventually agreed to go with my brother to a session under the suggestion that the way to stop being told she might have issues is to get checked and have a professional confirm she's sane. Cue the session. They walk in, and the psych asks her how she's doing, and she declares she shouldn't be here. She's only here because everyone says she's crazy. Psych chuckles and says he doubts she's crazy. Her reaction? Sneers at my brother. See? Told you so. And struts out like she was the smartest human on earth. Yeah. She didn't end up with custody.